Welcome back to the Polarian Shorts mini-series, and today we're going to take a look at publishing Polarian documentation into Team Center. Using the Polarian to Team Center integration allows us to do many, many different use cases. The one we're going to look at today is publishing content from Polarian into, into Team Center. So working with a document like we've got within Polarian here, Polarian will act as the master for all of our requirements documentation and our authoring process. So you can go through your standard approval process just as you normally would working within Polarium. For this documentation that I've got as the example here, to publish through to Team Center, there is just a very quick publish to Team Center button that is available. What this will then do is take the content that we've got within Polarium, all of those individual written requirements, and actually publish them through into Team Center as first class items. So the moment that this is then published, We'll then have the links through to the Team Center documentation along with all the different requirements that have been created within Team Center. If I just refresh my page, we can now see the link of my Polarian Shorts document that I've got with the linked Team Center item. I can open this up. It requires me to log in. And I'm now within the Team Center environment. I can expand out all of my different items so I can collapse below within there. We can see now the formatting structure of our document with all the different headings that we've got within the document and also then the individual requirements that were authored in this case, the software requirements that have been written within there. I can click into individual requirements like this and instead of seeing the documentation view, I can click into the details view and it will show me then the details of my requirement. We can also see the relations so the relations that we're seeing here are the links from the actual Team Center item itself through to the Polarian item that's also then associated. I can see on the overview view the details of what I've got here with the revision name, the details, the fact that this has actually gone through as a Team Center released item, and I can also then see the parent item and so on. We can also still see the Polarian ID, so we can see exactly where this written requirement that's currently in revision A has come from, and we can see the Polarian ID of this CM1016. I can click into this, and it takes me straight through to this item within Polarium. I could make some changes to this item within Polarium if I was to perhaps say the requirement type for this one was going to be keep it still functional. If I was to add in some assignees on this one, make some changes. Save the details there. I can open it up in the document just as I normally would and see the content change within here. And if I wanted to start to create some additional requirements within this documentation, I can of course still do this. So I'll just add in another product selection option within here. So I'll type all of that in just as you normally would with any written requirement. I can save those changes. That item's been created. On every single one of these individual requirements as well, where we can see on the document properties, the links to those document properties, we can also see the details of my work item properties. This one currently doesn't have a team center mapping associated to it, but all of the other written requirements that we got do have those written team center items that are associated. I can, of course, now republish this content. So any of this publishing process that's taking place, whether you want to do it at the end of your sort of publishing workflow, where you may have gone through the review and approval process, or you wish to publish as you're going through, either or is completely up to, to yourselves on this one, really. But this new publishing will push through any of those changes that we've got to the written requirements or reauthor any of those additional requirements that we've also then got with that marshmallows example that I've, I've added in there. We can see that that job is, is now done, and we can then see that indeed we do have that requirement that's also then been authored within there. And if I want to go back to my document and see the details of my document now within Team Center, I can just open it up very quickly again. I can expand out all of my items again, and we can now see that some of those revision changes that have taken place, where there may have been some reauthoring, but that new item that's also been created is at that revision A within there. 
So that's everything I was covering off today with the direct integration that we've got from Polarium being able to publish that content through into Team Center. So thanks very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.